www.datangonline.com Today, I'm going to explain and give you some idea how you can insert a shapefile or a map on a layer like the Google Satellite like this and then create a fishnet and after you create those fishnet or the grid box then we are going to count all those cases that being located inside those particular box so you can see how the disease being travel or how the disease being moved from one area to another area okay so without further ado let us begin with our example so the first of all I'm I'm going to need you to download this uh, shape file that being located or being addressed in uh, the link below of this particular um, uh, video so please download accordingly and then after that you unzip it and then we can proceed accordingly okay so first of all we go to the add layer so we are going to add our um, shape file here district A for example and then we are going to add so this is our shape file this is our A district okay so because of the interest uh, therefore we uh, probably need to make adjustment on the opacity so that we can see at the background here so the next one is actually we are focusing on the layer of diseases so we are going to add the delimited text layer and in this uh, example also I'm providing uh, the link and also the data set for the case also uh, and this particular case is actually being uh, recorded on the month 12 1 uh, 2 and also 3 okay if you open the data set here uh, you can see uh, there are uh, there are some idea about the data okay i'm just going to give you uh, in a superficial manner so this is the data we got month january february march april may and december so we are going to use this filter to see the movement of the disease okay All right so after you insert the data already example of data set and then you go to the x file you hit for the longitude and then latitudes accordingly and then we are going to use the epsg 4326 or wgs84 as a coordinate system as default so this is the tabulations of the cases um with regard to the overall cases being tabulated in our uh, layer and remember this is our csv file and therefore uh, the next step is actually we want to count uh, these cases as according to the specific uh, month for example in our shape file okay this is our shape file so let us see our shape file how it's behaved so it's actually uh, indicated like this we got the case uh, as overall and then uh, we got also the name of the um, shape as according to the uh, sub district of this shape file okay so the first of all we need to do is right click over here and then go to the filter and then we go to the month over here and then we use the operator is equal to one and hit the ok button so after you hit the ok button then the tabulations of the case are going to be reduced accordingly because we are only focusing on the month january so the next step that we need to do is actually we need to save all this information in our shape file so to do that you can just go to the vector here and then you can proceed with the analysis tools and go to the count point count points in polygon and in this case i'm going to use the default polygon um the a polygon and then the points will be here and then the num points here i'm going to write this one as case one okay case one means that case for the first month which is january then i'm going to click run right okay and then this count is already available you can have a look of this attribute case one which is uh, month january so i can further remove this layer and i can further save this new shape file so i'm going to save it so to make your life much more easier and the idea of the analysis being compact and you can further analyze those shape file remember to receive it or save it um, or replace the original file that you have so i'm going to go to my data set here so i'm going to use the same name okay uh, i'm going to name it as a also 
so uh, the com what the computer will do is actually they ask you to replace then I'm going to replace it straight away so I'm going to override the file and voila so this is our file already so our file is already indicated the case of overall and the case for the first month which is the month january so let us begin with another month for example i want to proceed with the second month of the um, period which is we call it as uh, february so this is the february cases so i'm going to go to vector analysis tools count point in polygon also so the polygon will be this one and remember case 2 case 2 means that case in the second month of the year which is um, January so I'm going to proceed to remove this E okay and then I'm going to save my count so what I need to do is actually export this thing save features as and then proceed to save it on the same name so the computer asks replace yes i'm going to replace it straight away and i'm going to add and then the computer asks again override the file yes i'm going to override it so you can remove this one and you can also see that uh, this file is already being updated as follows you can open the attribute this is case one means that january case this one is february case all right so the next step is actually you can proceed until uh, month uh, December but in this case I'm just going to proceed with the last uh, idea which is we go to the filter here and then I'm going to count the keys uh, during the uh, third month so actually the QGIS can very uh, handy you can arrange it accordingly so this one is the month uh, third month of the year which is March uh, January February March go to analysis tool and count point in polygon same also point as follows and then this one i'm going to write it as case 3 then i'm going to hit the run button so after you hit the run you can remove the original layer and then you can save this new polygon that already been created as the uh, original a e shape file i'm going to replace it straight away and i'm going to override it uh, so what happened next is actually all the data is already being accumulated into one shape file so if you go to this open attribute you can see this is january february and also march okay so this is the interesting part because in the end of the day we do not need these um, single point values because we want to translate our output based on a specific um, presentation for example you go to the properties and then I'm going to change this one as the categorize. Uh, so the value, I'm going to call it as case one. And I'm going to um, use the layering land. Uh, sorry. I'm going to um, change this thing. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, I can, I can just proceed with this idea. So everything is going to be changed according to the color. Or I can using the graduated which is I'm going to use the equal interval in this case I'm going to use five class and I can change the uh, intensity of the color which is in this case I'm going to invert and I'm going to edit because the first color I'm going to make it slightly transparent like this I'm going to click apply and okay so this is the example of the uh, January month and then you can uh, further proceed uh, to the um, case number two which is the february okay and then the last but not least is actually you can change it into uh, case number three which is we call it as uh, march or you can also uh, proceed with the geoda okay geoda is one of the other uh, open software that's uh, very handy for us to make some uh, analysis so I'm going to make another video for this uh, geoda but for this particular example I'm just going to proceed with what we are doing right now is actually district A the shape file over here and I'm going to right click and then a request for the read so raw read I'm going to focus on the event uh, case one based on the keys okay event based on the case one 
uh, based on the keys so this is the idea of the january and then i'm going uh, i'm going to change it into another row read which is the keys two, which is we call it as february and then we can change it accordingly okay this is the example and this is our table all right so i hope it summarizes uh, everything about our technique in uh, doing data analysis uh, to present the data according to the different um, uh, conditions of the data uh, from your CSV file, uh, especially if you are looking into how the disease being spread, uh, how the disease being uh, distributed according to the different um, time. Okay. So this is the, the simplest idea talking about the spatial temporal condition uh, of our data analysis. Okay, so if you want to know more, please don't forget to subscribe and uh, please let me know in the comment if you've got anything to do with this uh, kind of analysis. Uh, with that, we see you again next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.